Hello and welcome back to Hot Mind 4. This is Count Christo. We're back in the Gotadamarung mod. I, uh, I'm letting you see the loading up screen <coughs> this time because lots of these mods add some really nice, uh, really nice different loading screens. So I thought I'd let you see the whole setup process this time. Um, after our glorious victory in the previous one, starting in the uh, the Gotadamarung start period, we're going to try one this time in the Battle of the Bulge uh, time frame, which the mod creator just added to his already great mod, and uh, so we're going to give that a go. As I understand it, uh, the Allies have already taken back France, the Soviets are pushing in hard in the east. Uh, I don't want to do a complete rehash of the previous campaign, because I, I feel like that would be, <coughs> be a bit excessive. So what the victory condition for this campaign is we have to um, have a stable front with the Soviets in the east, and control at least as far as our fallback line. Uh, here it is. The uh, oh, it's not. Sorry, that's Vaterland. I think is Fatherland. So maybe that's defense of Fatherland. Fatherland. I'm not sure. But let's let's load in. Yeah. So we need to control all of France. Uh, obviously, control our home territories, and we need to <coughs> we need to control that front line that we were defending in the previous game, which is just there. So that's the victory condition that I'm setting for us. Uh, Iron Man mode, as always. Uh, let's begin. Oh, I love that bell when you start a new campaign. It's fantastic. So I've no idea how difficult this is going to be. This is the first time I've ever loaded in uh, this start date. Um, so let us see. Let us see. I might withdraw from Italy entirely to uh, to that river just there. That might be a good idea. I'm not sure. Okay, so here we are. Oof, oof, it looks bad. It looks very bad. So, um, oh no, what have you done, Germany? Those guys are all, ooh, ooh. Those are some very experienced divisions we have up there. Those are also pretty experienced divisions. Our, uh, our deficit's looking like it's less bad than in the previous one. That's good. As I understand it, the Battle of the Bulge is the last major German offensive of the war. But that's not how we're going to play it. Ooh, he's good, but he's old guard. Ooh, they're all field marshals these in this start. That's interesting. <clears throat> I'm probably going to go with uh, division recovery rate's good, match entrenchment's good, but I do love own combat width. So I think it's uh, Fedor von Bock for us today. Yeah, we're sticking with the fallback strategy back like that. Whether I'm the Allies or the Germans, this is the river that I always end up seeming to hold uh, in a desperate situation, so we'll see if that will work. Once again, I'm going to join all my fleets together. Over here in Kiel. I'm going get, to get these guys onto the front. Um, shall we pull back? There are lots of military factories just here, but it really doesn't look like we're going to be able to hold yeah, I'm making the decision. We're going to pull back. Um, how should I do it? Like that? Yeah, that looks fine. Uh, and I'm going to take <coughs> some of these divisions and assign them up here. Have we got any more factories this time around? No, less. Um, well, we're going to need lots of infantry equipment. Lots of infantry equipment. And we're going to need lots of support equipment. And we're going to need lots of artillery. And we're going to need some motorised. And then the rest will be infantry equipment, I think. Um, manpower looks fine, but if I know this mod, it's about to take a whole host of that away from us. Evil, evil thing that it is. Uh, how's land doctrine this time? Same situation. Um, we definitely need entr any entrenchment to get our hands on. Um, all still researched. Yeah, we're not going to need nukes this campaign. Um, I guess reconnaissance, hospitals, and signal companies. So the uh, the Soviet front is not looking not looking so good this time. They've pushed us back significantly further than they had oops, in, this, in the previous campaign. Um, 
Well, I'm still going to go for the fallback strategy. Um, now, where to draw the line? That river looks quite defensible to me. I can't go directly down there. No, that's odd. Maybe I do this then. That river does look nice and defensible. Oh, and so does this one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the borders aren't actually where the borders are. That's, uh, that's interesting. All right, so where are the Soviets actually? They've pushed to here. Well, this is all... There's no Hungarian army in the field that I can see. So I think I'll pull back yet further. Okay, so that's good. That's hills. That's hills. Mountains. Hills, hills, hills. Forests. These are the plains that I want to avoid to try to defend. So maybe I abandon... Oh no, there's some forests and mountains here. That would be defensible. Maybe I try and hold Krakow again. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to hold Krakow. We're going to come down here. Here. And then I think we're going to try and hold like like that. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can hold that. And my plan for these guys that I've just formulated, we're not going to be able to push through 69 divisions. So I think, how fast can we build a port here? A month. So let's see if they can hold for a month, and then we're going to fall them back to that port. That's the, that's the strategy. <laughs> Interesting front line there, okay. So I'll just assign them all to this and uh, see if we can hold that for a month while we get that port built. Uh, but apart from that, we're going to need a mass withdrawal. And I'm going to actually command it this time. All the way along this line. There we go. And these guys are two, of course. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to hold. I've no idea. This is a significantly more difficult scenario. As I recall, I can't remember actually how many the troops they had last time, but that, <laughs> that's more. I'm, I feel safe in uh, asserting. Hopefully they won't begin an immediate attack, and that will just give me that little bit of time I need to get all these guys to safety. And... Uh, and entrenched in their new their new positions. Just turned on the day night cycle back to there. I don't think anyone really likes the day night cycle for this game. And we are just going to produce, apart from those, a uh, couple. Should we produce some? I did like our row of forts. Hmm. Shall I go for some forts again? Yeah, maybe I shall. Let's go for some... Ooh, I missed a province there. That's a good thing I noticed that. Oh, we got so few civilian factories, though. Oh, yes, the laws. Uh, definitely total mobilisation. And... Uh, do we need to close the economy? No. Uh, free dockyards, just, just convoys. I think is all we're going to... All we're going to do. We're not going to need navy for our, our victory conditions in this campaign. Oh, I didn't actually fill out the uh, motorized. That's a good thing I noticed that. Um, national focus. I guess. Construction engineering. Uh, but yeah, let's go for another. Let's go for another fort attempt. Uh, but I'm going to start building it in the south. If we can get these built, it'll be a huge boon to our war effort. Of course, remember the Soviets <coughs> in the previous campaign had nukes pretty fast, so... Is there anyone unassigned? Yes, where are you guys? Ah, the Norwegians. Yeah. And it uh, looks like Finland has, has fallen to the uh, to the uh, Comintern. They haven't actually joined the Comintern, interestingly enough. That's a shame. Our Finnish allies did us really well in the previous, uh, previous campaign. Uh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna assign these guys personally. More rapidly deploy here, uh, so we can do that. <sighs> All right, uh, how's our air wing looking? Oh, we've got uh, no planes in the air and no planes. Fantastic. Well, that's not. Quite
not Same ideal. Oh, <laughs> this one guy in Dunkirk. That's interesting. Uh, I'm afraid we're not going to do anything fancy with him. We're just going to retreat him immediately. So if all these guys on this front appear to be veterans. Probably the enemies are too, but that's really good. Oh, I haven't actually ordered the withdrawal. I should do that. Oh yes, and uh, the line is wrong. We should go through there. There we are. That's it. There we go. Great. <coughs> Just keep everyone withdrawing faster than others in some cases. Okay. And pause. Is there going to be an immediate attack? Oh yes, sorry, the merging. I forgot about this. So there's the casualties adjustment. Uh, yep, there goes all our manpower. It's all the provinces falls. Warshot raising. Welcome to the mod. Yes, fantastic. Uh, with most of the France and the Low Countries and Allied control, Hitler took one last gamble to launch, gamble to launch a major German offensive. No, they uh, they really didn't. Fifteen thousand units of MP38. Oh, that's handy. Nice. <coughs> they tried to assassinate Hitler. Turkey ends it. Quite daring of them. Rommel dies. Yeah, we've seen all of these uh, in the previous campaign. Okay, so. We're going to have to go up to all adult serve again, as we did in the previous campaign, which I'm not very happy about. There doesn't appear to be, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There doesn't appear to be an immediate attack being launched on either front, which I'm very pleased about. If they just let us get to our line, um, I don't mind. I think I just gave them this province. Oh well, it doesn't matter. They're my puppet anyway. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Denmark. Uh, I forgot. No, Denmark's already dead. That's fine. That's fine. Um, phew, can you tell I'm panicking a little bit? <laughs> um, okay, we're retreating to this line pretty well. That's good. Are we withdrawing okay over here? Yeah. This, that was silly of me. Okay, this line shouldn't be here. It should be there. It should be here. Along this, along this river. Yeah, that's the way to do it. And that lets us keep at least one province uh, of Italian factories. Fantastic. You guys, why aren't you moving? Get out of there. Okay, so there's been no major offensive yet. Uh, how's our supply? Fine everywhere except just up here, where obviously it's horrendous. They haven't launched an offensive yet, though. <coughs> Five more divisions from Slovakia. Um, uh, two, in fact. Spot. Why did it say five? Maybe it's the ones that are in combat that they can't actually give us. I should name my uh, name my theatres really, shouldn't I? This is uh, Home Guard. This one's home will do. Uh, this is Ports. And uh, I am just going to very quickly lay out a bunch of port garrisons. I'm going to do a slightly longer first episode than I would normally do, I uh, just to see basically is this viable, because uh, we may just lose immediately, in which case, you know, oh well, <laughs> all's fair, we'll just, uh, we'll try something else, maybe we'll try again if I fail first time, oh that was a big, Brazil has joined in, fantastic, uh, withdrawing, they're letting us withdraw okay on the eastern front, that's good, same on the west. We're managing to get back to our lines. Italy, uh, yep. Talon Falls, also uprising. Doesn't actually do anything, fortunately enough for us. Uh, I should change the icon on that so I can instantly recognise it as my uh, port defence. Ooh, there comes the first attacks. Not good. Keep retreat, just retreat, just retreat. Have they attacked in the north as well? Yes, they're moving. What? There's one guy down here? Well, actually, there is level 3 forts here. They're quite good. West Wall, these forts were called. Hopefully they should hold. Hungary has capitulated. Not good. Where are you going? There's their first attack. They appear to be attacking into the strongest defended province on the entire front line. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. That 
is a horrendous mismatch of redeployment. I'm just going to cancel all that and see if they do something more sensible. Yes, that sounds better. Sometimes they do odd stupid things, like these guys decide to swap with these guys and uh, other such nonsense like that. So if you, if you cancel all their movements, usually they get a little bit more sensible. Okay, so our infantry deficit is a lot less bad than it was in the last campaign. It's still bad, but it's not nearly as bad. Um, we need at least two people in each of these provinces, I think. Um, oh, something's happened. Oh yeah, there's that Peruvian Civil War getting fired off again. Ooh, it's glitching. What's up? Something's just happened. I can see the uh, world tension ticking up in the right-hand corner. What's going on, game? Sorry about this. Not sure what's going on. More world tension. I guess a bunch of people just got called in. No? Hmm. Maybe, maybe the Peruvian Civil War... <coughs> oh! No. The previous, that was the Republic of Peru getting called in uh, to war against the entire Allies faction because uh, all the um, all the Allies were allied to the other ones, the other Peruvians, the non-democratic Peruvians. Funnily enough, <laughs> just a bit odd. Okay, of course the Allies are going to have total air supremacy for the foreseeable future. Collinsburg falls. That is a tragedy. Hopefully we can hold Danzig. How's the uh, how's the fort production coming along? I haven't produced a single one yet, <laughs> so not optimally. Oh, I didn't fill in over here. There we go. See, they're super quick. It's really nice. Ooh, they're attacking up here, but we're holding so far. That trained bonus. Sorry, that veteran okay. bonus. Plus 75% combat modifier. It's really good. But they're going to have to hold for quite a while. And there's very little supply up there. But we're holding so far. Uh, I'm going to commandeer all the forces of my, uh, my puppets. So good to to make them behave a little bit less stupidly. Now really isn't the time to be launching a major offensive, guys. Just, uh, just so you know. Those guys are going to die anyway, probably. Oh, here's an attack. <coughs> oh no, there's this guy attacking. That was quite what I had in mind there, guys. It appears that they've pulled back from this front line. Intriguing. Should we try a blitz? Yeah. Alright, let's, let's try a push. I'll, uh, I'll keep back a couple of divisions just to build up some just some uh, defences on this line. But if everyone would please advance to this view front line, let's see if we can if we can make some progress. I wouldn't mind pushing out France in a kind of early Blitzkriegy style attack. It would be glorious if we could pull that off. In fact, oh no, it looks like they're back. <laughs> Maybe it was just really. Bad, uh, bad. Um, what do we call it? Uh, what's the word? Reconnaissance. It's telling us that there's no one here. If we could take it at a bare minimum, if we could just take the Maginot line, we could hold on the Maginot line instead of on this side of the water. Because we're being called in. We can invite a faction. Nationalist Spain. Yeah. That'll muck them up a bit. Call to arms. Yep. Come on, National Spain. Screw them up from southern France. That would be great if they could pull that off. Alright, uh, yeah, Italy. I actually don't just want one of your forces, I want all of your forces. And they've got to hold this line. No, no, don't leave a gap. What are you doing, you fools? There are, they are already exposing it. Quick, get, fill in that gap. I'm using them to attack to hold them off while I get those guys in there. You guys with retreat. Looks like we're making some progress on this front. That's good. I should put them on to aggressive. Hopefully the Spanish will take lots of southern Spain, which should um, 
should confuse the allies a bit, which should be good. Ooh, almost getting cut off. Yeah. Out of that. Darn it. They already defeated my little attack of Strasbourg. If we can take uh, Mulhouse, that should be good. I don't want to attack into this this, this line. There's just no, no future in it. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is extend this one. These guys are going to get assigned to the, to the full back line. I think that's a good way to do it. We'll get there. But we are taking some territory. Little bits. If that works, that'd be good. And there's still no major Soviet offensive, which I am definitely not complaining about. Group all, all our fleets up. Let's see if we can get away with a, um, a little bit of search and destroy in the North Sea and the Baltic. Because if we can do that, then basically none of these ports are susceptible to attack anymore. Looks like we have total naval supremacy. <coughs> That's what I like to see. Okay, let's speed it up a bit. Oh good, we got here in time. Those guys can retreat. Uh, still holding fine over here. That's good to see. Oh, looks like the Soviets have pulled back in the south. Okay, well, let's try a push. So everyone south of that can get a front line. And... Uh, we know where we're going to push to. <laughs> it's our old front line. Try that. Via down here. Let's see if we can gain some more ground in the south too. <coughs> yeah, so I'm glad the deficit's not as bad as it was in the last game. If it was as bad, it would have been pretty devastating. Almost take Luxembourg, that'd be nice. Down here. They're trying to push across there, which is not clever. Can we get in there in time? That'd be lovely if we could. Nicaragua. I'm not terrified by the prospect of fighting Nicaragua, I must admit. some progress here, which is good. We could do it in a circle in here, that'd be nice. I think it's sensible to keep some guys back, just so that they, uh, we have somewhere to fall back to if this attack goes uh, pear-shaped. Oh no, that was a mistake. I'm going to disband them. We we'll use 80% of their equipment, but better than 100%, which is what we were almost certainly going to lose otherwise. What are you guys doing? I assigned you to this attack order. Maybe I should have assigned some more of them down here. If we have a push in from up here while we're trying to push down here, that really would not be very good. We really definitely don't need 10 guys in Milan. I'll spread them out a bit manually. There we go. <clears throat> good, well, we've retaken most of the low countries. That's, uh, that's good progress. It looks like we're going to make a little pocket just here. Which is, uh, which is always nice. Nancy's falling. Assas Rain back, uh, back in German hands. Well, this push is going quite well so far. I'm happy with that. This one also looks like we're going to retake some land. Although, of course, it's land that we already gave up. Maybe I should focus on one front at a time. Yeah, okay. Forget this push, actually. I'm afraid, guys. Uh, let's... Where'd I put it? <laughs> was it like that? I think it was like that. Yeah. Let's uh, forget this push, because I don't want to... Um... I think we should deploy... All... Any spare forces should all be deployed to to the same front so we can do one kind of unified push. Draw a front line there just so we can start building up some um, some uh, preparation bonuses. And yeah, so this these like these 16 for example, let's have them over here on that front full back line. And these tanks, let's have them on the push. It looks like the British have abandoned France, oddly enough. Not that I'm complaining, not in the slightest. It's going to let us push in quite nicely. Um, yeah, looking pretty 
good. If we can take... Yeah, taking out the Maginot line is very helpful, because if we have to fall back, falling back to the Maginot line will be uh, very defensible, because they've got level 10 forts in all these provinces, which is absurd. Absurdly high levels of fort. There we go, we circled someone there. So yes, I'm going to move this fallback line so that it includes the Maginot line as soon as, uh, as soon as we actually own it all, which won't be long now we're taking this area here. This push looks like it's going pretty well, though. What's French national unity like? 90%? Come on. <laughs> it's just unfair. Although I suppose we're at 90%, so it's not really unfair. I think it was a good decision not to try and do a double push. Focusing more troops over on here in the west is uh, sensible, because we know we can push in the east. We've, uh, we've got experience pushing in the east now from the previous campaign. But uh, this is the push that's new. It's unfamiliar. Looks like we've powered out quite a few of those uh, forts. Happy to see that. It's definitely good to have a fortified fallback line. There we go. Taking the Maginot line. That's what I like. These guys should spread out as soon as they arrive at the front line. Let's see if they do. Wow, they're moving very slowly. Actually, time's not ticking very quickly. And yes, so they go spreading out. There's a lot of people stuck in. Uh, where is this? Mandarin. Let's see if we can we could take out all these French troops, that's going to leave them seriously hindered. It looks like the, uh, where have the, um, the American forces appear to have all left, as do the British. Maybe they've all gone south. No, I can't see them down there. It's probably because the Americans are redeploying troops to try and deal with, um, Japan, if I had to guess. Ooh, first major offensive in the east. Looks like we're holding okay, though. That's good to see. We're almost there on that port up here. These guys just hold on, hold on. I know there's really low supply, but you can do it. Ooh, they've weakened the uh, defense of the east. Maybe we can push to Riga. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. If we can push to Riga, we can get them out even sooner. I love it if we can push them out through Riga. That'd be even Yep, I think we're gonna do it. Okay, everyone to Riga. Fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna cancel. Mm, I'm not gonna cancel it. I'm gonna put it to the bottom of the list so that I keep the progress in case we have to revert to the original plan. Ooh, 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 ooh. I know no, that you're not supposed to be holding that for it, so I don't mind if you are not able to. Since you're not meant to at all. <clears throat> Big Soviet offensive there. But it looks like our push into France is going quite well. The next target will be basically totally taking out France. Looking pretty good. I'm going to take uh, half of those guys and tell them to join the offensive. How's the encirclement going on up here? Not bad. Uh, looks like the AI's having a bit of a wibble. Croatia has capitulated to the Soviets. It's a shame. The Kingdom of Italy joined the Comintern. Excuse me. That's interesting. Not least because they're showing us ours. <laughs> that's, uh, that's interesting. Why is the Kingdom of Italy in the Comintern? They're democratic. Weird. Very weird. But it looks like we're going to be able to push to Riga. Delete that front line. Come on. Take rigor. No, no, no. No fighting. Just retreat. Just retreat. Come on. How long? Three days. We're actually going to hold fine there, so I might as well. Keep getting to rigor. Keep getting to rigor. And we're still pushing fine down here. It's strange little intrusion we've got going on there. Looks like we can. Yeah, nice. No, you don't. They're trying to deploy the guys from Dunkirk. Stop that circle. Who can ever stop them? No, that's not. But now, that. 
they're smaller in certain ones, but still good. I'm going to accept any of the commemoration packs I get coming in, since I'm already at war with everyone I want to be at war at, with. We're nearly there, guys. Come on. Just take rigor. Oh no, they're fortifying rigor. Okay, let's uh, let's bulk that fort back up. Uh, resume plan, hold the line over here. Niche to boot. Draw. Oh, I should have just stuck with the original plan. There's no point throwing men away to try and push to another port. It'll be done in a couple of days. <coughs> Ooh, don't you dare get overrun. Quick. 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 Whew. It's a close one. Looks like we're still holding fine. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh no, what's happened here? I didn't draw all the way down! No! <laughs> it's a disaster. I have some troops on hand to reinforce. Ooh, 12, 11. Two troops and troops are just fighting into that one. Still pushing fine over here. That's good to see. Oh, all the attacks are going to be to get that uh, extra push. Okay, well, I think, uh, yeah, we've held pretty well. It's still pretty tricky. This is probably going to be a very short campaign because the uh, victory conditions I've set are far more, far less, rather, um, aggressive than they were in the previous one. Ooh, no, 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 no. That's not good. So I think I'm going to uh, just let the day tick so we get an auto save and then I'll call it apart here. There we go, auto saved. Fantastic. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.